Today we're going to be working on mochi donuts. While we know how popular donuts are with consumers, many are looking for a new and interesting version of their classic favorites. Mochi donuts have an amazing and unique flavor and texture that consumers are sure to love. To make mochi donuts, prepare the donut mix according to manufacturer instructions. The donut fryer should be attended to before prep starts. First, turn on the hood. Second, turn on the fryer, adding more fat if needed. Set the fryer to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and only fry donuts when that temperature has been achieved. Mochi donuts require specific fryer and hopper settings. The fat needs to be two to two and a half inches deep, and the bottom of the hopper needs to hover one to one and a half inches over the surface of the fat. While it is traditional to use a crinkle cutter like ours, the mix will work with a traditional cake donut cutter as well. Both can be purchased through Dawn Equipment. Load the hopper with batter, then place hopper over the top left corner of the kettle and drop donuts in a straight line towards the top right corner, being sure to use a smooth motion with a brief pause in between. Continue to the next row, this time working from right to left in a straight line. Continually working the fryer in this manner will keep donuts in the same order for flipping and frying. Fry for 10 seconds, flip using donut sticks, and submerge using a donut screen, or a submerger if you have one, and fry for one minute. Allow the donuts to rise to the surface, then submerge again for another two minutes. Slide a donut screen with a cradle under the donuts and scoop out of the fryer. Donuts will temp at 200 degrees Fahrenheit internally when fried correctly. Let cool for 15 to 20 seconds, transfer to a glazing screen, and let cool completely. Today we're using a prepared matcha and strawberry icing. These have been made with Dawn flat icing. We're also using chocolate fudge icing and cream cheese flat icing. First, dip the donut into the icing, then place on the screen to set up. Next, using the same icing flavors, stripe donuts and let them set up completely before serving. Isn't this pond de ring shape perfect for pulling apart and sharing? The unique shape of these donuts will encourage your customers to try something new and that flavor and texture will have them buying more later.